Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I forgot to film yesterday, but we, mum and I are actually on a little girls trip. Again, I know. We are going to Robe in South Australia and we've just stopped overnight in a little motel in Ballarat to break the drive because it's like six hour drive so I think we've got about four more hours today but yeah we just had a cute little dinner last night in Ballarat and this morning we're gonna go get a coffee and then get on the road we're going to some mountain I will check back with mum and confirm Mount Gramp yes, that's a G I'm not too sure but there's this like really big blue swim hole oh my god there's a person anyway we're gonna get on the road <laughs> I hate hotels we're gonna get on the road to this swim hole and I We'll show you when we get there. I really hope that's my mum. Mum? Okay, I'm gonna go because I hear noises and I'm scared. So I will check back in when we're on the road. So I promise I check in and we're in the car Ooh, and we are driving to South Australia. We're about to cross the border and the last time my mum went to South Australia, she forgot to take like what was it a lime one lime one lime out of the fridge in the little van they were in and they got fined like four hundred dollars for taking a lime and she was like oh yeah there's fruit and veg in the back so now we're just quickly eating the fruit before we cross the border otherwise we get fined again so we're not gonna eat and then we're gonna chuck what the rest like, like there's a whole ammo in here like we're just gonna oh. munch on that and it's like getting really stormy out there we're meant to go to a swimming hole so i think i will it's okay Mum, I wouldn't risk it. We're going to go swimming in this blue hole if it doesn't rain on us. It's meant to be like the biggest storm in South Australia, so we love that. Anyway, I will check in later. I just thought I'd bring you in on the chaos. <laughs> I'll see you when we get there. Guys, we made it to the bin. I've got the avocado and the potatoes in my hand. We're gonna have to sacrifice. We almost drove straight past it. Um, We're gonna go. Standing on the side of the road, sculling my nectarine. at the quarantine guys I don't know if you watched my last vlog but there was the biggest thunderstorm when we went away last weekend to bright mum's taking me away again and it is the severe thunderstorm warnings we actually came to this lake to swim in it is now so stormy I'm gonna show you we made it to the lake I'm gonna show you it is so pretty but it is so windy and stormy up here so sorry if you can't hear me very well <laughs> Guys, even the map says that we're trying to get to where we're going. Hello guys, we have made it down to the beach. It is so pretty. The sand is like so white here, but this beach is so weird because you can like fully drive on it. So this is like the no driving side. And then literally I'm looking at like so many cars. I will show you guys in the next clip. But we just went for a little swim. It is so pretty. The water is really nice and cold. I'm just reading my book. Mum is on a walk. And then we're going to go out for dinner later. So successful day one in Robe. Good morning, guys. It is the next morning here in Robe. It is so sunny and pretty out. Mum and I are just going to go for a big walk along the water and then get a coffee somewhere. But it is so humid here. It's like 90% hum humidity. The word, I don't know. Um, it's only 25 degrees, but it feels so much hotter. So, definitely going to go for a swim today as well. I will take you guys along. Last night, we went out for a really cute dinner at the little pizzeria. I'll put some photos here. It was so yum. So, yeah, I will check back in later. We are on our walk down the town beach, and I've got my coffee. They give me a bucket. I don't know, like. I feel like you can get small ice lattes in Melbourne, but you just can't get them anywhere else. Well, that's okay. Yeah, on our walk, it is so hot if you can't tell, but the view is stunning. Hello, guys. I thought I'd just quickly sign on. I haven't been filming very much at all. I am so sorry. We've kind of just been having a nice time away. But this morning, we are going to walk down to this really cute little coffee shop. So I'll show you that when we get there. And then we're just going to walk along the street, do some shopping. And I've actually just booked a haircut for tomorrow morning. Very random, but I'm going to get some curtain bangs again. 
if you've watched the vlog for a while, you would have known I got them like a year ago. And I feel like it must be just like a January thing I do. I get in this weird like slump and I'm like, I need a change for my hair. So I booked in a little local salon. So we'll see how that goes. Always a bit risky, but she was so nice on the phone. So hopefully that is all good. But yeah, just thought I'd check in. I'll show you the little room we're staying in um, because I really have been bad. So I'm so sorry. Right, that's my bed with my little teddy on it. And then that's mum's bed and we have little cute couch TV and then a bathroom through there and then a little kitchen which mum is hiding in so oh there's mum <laughs> so I'll show you that later but yeah we're gonna head down the street now it's really windy down here so I'm not, not sure if you're gonna be able to hear me but mum and I have just popped down for our little facials I'm just waiting out the front that's not for about 10 minutes but yeah that should be so nice so I'll check in after you guys, I just got back from our facial. My face is so nice and glowy. I don't know if you can tell, but it was like the nicest facial ever. It was so beautiful. She like did all the creams and everything. And then she like massaged my arms and feet and everything. It was so nice. But we, I don't know if I showed you or I've told you, but we went for a swim today down Town Beach, which is a different beach to where we've been swimming the last two days and there was like this little pontoon out in the water that you could swim out to it's probably about 50 meters out from shore and i just like not a very good swimmer slash really wasn't feeling like swimming out there today just got an ick feeling about it mum was like oh you've got to do it like what's that she swims out i take a photo of her in the pontoon i'm like go mum love that at like 152 that's exactly when I took the photo. So back, flashback to the facial. I'm lying there, it's last five minutes, and I hear them talking about this shark, and I'm like, random. I wonder if that was near us. We come out of our facial, and she's like, yeah, there was a great white shark spotted right near the pontoon at 1.54 today. Mum literally was swimming with a great white shark. Um, yeah, she survived. She's here to tell the story. It says on the report that it was five meters long, which is like three times mum on the little report here that's the little shark mum was right there <laughs> we love that for her but yeah how weird and like I just didn't want to swim today and like I saved my life because <laughs> you know I can't swim very fast and shark would have eaten me anyway mum and I are gonna go have a drink because she needs one after almost getting eaten by a shark today so we're gonna go to a local brewery I thought I'd just update you give her a bit of a story time but yeah, how crazy. Okay, we're gonna have a drink and I will show you the brewery when we get there. Bye. You guys, I'm walking down to get my spontaneous haircut now. My hair is so crazy from the facial last night. I promise that's all it is, but this is before absolutely dead and greasy and I'll show you after. Hello guys, we are on the road. I just got my hair cut, but as you can see, it kind of looks the same. Cut some little like bang kind of things, which are cute, but yeah, um, I wanted them short and we kind of didn't get that. So we're gonna go with the scissors when we get back home. But I mean, it's kind of cute, like, a bit slum or something but we're driving home now so i will check back in and we're on the road so you've just got home and as you can tell i haven't really made it far into the door because she's just plunked herself on my lap and i said you are not going anywhere you are never leaving me again oh she's so cute you're so cute <laughs> Hey guys, so I am back home now. As you can probably tell, we had the nicest time away. Just such like a little relaxing girls trip. It is so hot in Melbourne, like sticky and gross. Also, I know I said I was getting curtain bangs, but like that's just not a curtain bang. So we're getting her fixed because it needs to be like there. So that's going to happen in this week. Maybe in this walk, we'll see. But, well, sunny. I just finished eight hours. I just finished eight hours of work, seven till three, and I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell you that my gym membership is thanking my boyfriend because the only reason I'm going dragging myself to the gym right now is because he's there, and I don't want to be lazy if he's like going to the gym. So I guess I'll go, but I'm like sweating, like full sweating. I haven't even stepped foot in the gym. Um, that was rude. My camera just died mid-conversation with you guys. And I don't know if it saves that last clip. So, 
I believe it does, but we will see. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to the gym. It's going to be a real easy session, like a walk kind of vibe, maybe some arm. But yeah, I'm just working this week, so it's a really boring week and it is so hot. I'll see you guys after. Guys, I've just got to the gym. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me because their fans are really high, but I've just got here right. And I'm like ready for a chill workout. I let Sam get here like 20 minutes before me so that I could just be here for like half an hour and go. And he's like, yeah, I'm doing nine exercises. Like I've got nine to go. You know, we do four. I'm gonna be here for hours. Oh my God, guys. I have a fringe. What did I do? No, like, because I like it, like, but, like, I can't, it just has to be there the whole time. <gasps> I'll get back when I can comprehend this because, please tell me you don't look ugly. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, like, it has to be on my face. <gasps> That's my normal face. <laughs> I look like I'm in a punk rock band, not like an Australian indie band. Like, I look like I'm part of... Lime Cordial. I have a mullet. Oh my god, I have a mullet. Oh my god, I... Uh. You guys, this is not really what I had in mind, but please tell me you like it because it's happened now. It's too late. I got a fringe. I was going for curtain bangs and just decided, you know, they'll turn into curtain bangs eventually. And it's kind of a fringe, so... Don't ask me how I feel about it because I don't even know yet. But I mean, I've looked the exact same for like 20 years. So I thought, why not change it a little bit? I don't know. Ah, I'm still processing. If you can't tell, I literally can't really form sentences. So I like, don't recognize myself at all in the camera. Anyway, I'm going to start off the video now because I need some like time. But I hope you've enjoyed this like whirlwind of a video. And I don't really know what, but I will see you guys next week. Yeah. I I'm gonna go. <laughs> okay, bye.